Well, earlier this week, Tanya Harding said her horoscope for the week was great. Well, this is what the horoscope said. A long-cherished goal moves within reach. You feel elated. The outside resources or talents you need are available. Your leadership skills put you ahead of the pack. That was her horoscope for today. And she told us today, she said, I know there are a lot of people out there who think Portland, I'm a has-been. I have Portland, something Oregon. to prove tonight. Tanya well, she has the next four and a half minutes to make her point. It'll be very interesting to see whether she plays this conservatively or not. She can be powerful, intimidating, and vulnerable all at the same time. And will she do a triple axel? selected this music to Gi Jurassic Park. Her opening jump is a triple Lutz. <laughs> Huge! <laughs> it really had a lot of height, very much in control. Now, if she is going to do a triple axle, this will be where she does it. It looks like it is. Nope, nope, she elected to do just a single. Uh, I think she, she pulled back on that one. It's a triple flip. These are magnificent jumps that she's doing. What's well, the height and the speed that is so different than all of the other women? Michelle Kwan is the leader, and all Tanya Harding has to do is beat her in this free skating portion to win the national title. Team, she will have to compete against Francis Suryavon Ali, the Ukraine's Oksana Bayul. A heady list final, of people. Final triple, triple Salkow. Oh, oh, nice, nicely nice. done. This combination spin shows how good a spinner she can be. For all the skeptics who felt Tanya's peak had passed, I think she's proved she still is a winner, even without that triple axle. 
which she's wanted all along to prove that she could do it without the triple axel. And it looks like that's the case. Tanya Harding has delivered her challenge. Will it be enough for the national title? We'll find out when we come back as Nancy Kerrigan looks on. Back in Detroit, awaiting the marks for Tanya Harding. Well, she certainly is <laughs> a pleased young lady. But take a look at the slow motion of this opening triple left. Now watch the height that she gets, the strength, the power, the distance, and the speed coming out. That's a sensational triple Lutz. Now, this triple loop, double loop. Again, look at the height. Very, really nice. And little Michelle Kwan, I think, was, was really very excited about that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and finally, the slow motion of her double axle. Now look again at the height, the strength, and the power. She hits those as she turns again into a triple toe loop. That one, not clean, double-footed landing, but I guess who cares? She uses her upper body a lot. You really can see the this accentuated with the Tanya dress she Harding. has on. She's got strength Ford and power in those yes. arms. She lifts with those arms. Yes, I think that all helps. And here are the technical merit marks. Very high, all five eights and five nines. Well, this is a great moment, you know, for Tonya. She has wanted to prove it. She's struggled so hard. She's had everything go wrong. She's let everything go wrong. And now all of a sudden to pull this off and become the national champion is, um, I just think, terrific. Oh, I'm very happy for her. For her. The last time she won the national championship was in 1991. Right, Five when she landed nine. her triple axel. Yes. And, and the marks for exciting. composition Five and style, she is ranked first Five by all six. nine Five judges. Point six. Five point Tanya nine. Harding is the Five 1994 Five national champion. And we will seven. be back with the final standings. Oh, great, and also great. the naming of the Olympic team members. Nancy Kerrigan looking on. Will the USFSA give her a spot? Tanya Harding, the 1994 national champion.